Okay, everybody, welcome to Get Fit or Countdown. We are in the third week, so the round, the, the numbers this week are, and I'll repeat them, but I know some of you already know these moves, so I'm just gonna say them first, are 10, 8, 6, 4, 10, 8, 6, 4. So how Countdown works is we have five moves and we do that uh, repetition for each. We're gonna start though with the warm up. So going down into child's pose. It's about 30 seconds each move. Um, so keeping your feet nice and relaxed behind you, sit into your heels and rest, pushing your chest into the floor. If you need to stay up on your forearms, that's fine. You can stretch your hands, that's great. Just take some deep breaths here. Really push your bum into your heels and relax your stomach into the floor. We're gonna pull ourselves up into cat cow. From here, I want you to breathe in as you relax into this move. Drop your back, lift your head and then breathe out as you push through, curling your belly button into your rib cage and pushing your hands through the ceiling. And do that again. We're doing this for 30 seconds. Nice and slow, really get that full extension. Curling in and pushing up. One more. Next we're flipping on our back and we're going to double leg hip bridge. You can have your hands up. And you're gonna really try to tilt your pelvis, push through your heels and drive just your hips up, making sure you keep your rib cage down and then drive up as you breathe out. Squeezing your butt at the top. Don't let your ribs flail when you come back either. Keep those ribs down. One more. And roll yourself up. We're going into kneeling with a straight leg. So you're gonna have your foot flat, your toes facing up, and you're gonna uh, knee that's down, put that hand down. The other hand has a uh, prisoner position, and you're driving your knee, uh, your elbow toward your knee, and then rotating up. Breathing in as you're down, out as you're up. Sitting into that leg as you come down, coming up. Let's go two more. And then come up, switch legs. Dropping that hand with the knee that's down. Other one comes up behind the ear. Breathe in as you go down, out as you pull up. One more. Next, 
Next, you're going to get into a push-up position, and we're going to alternate between Spider-Man and a pike. So starting in push-up position, push back into pike, drive those heels to the floor. As you come out of pike, bring your leg up, and then T-spine rotation here. Hand back down, leg back, back into pike. Bring the other leg up. T-spine rotation here. Really work with your breath. You're breathing out as you're going into the downward dog. In as you come up. Out as you go into T-spine. About one more each way. And when you're done with that last one, I want you to stand up. We're going to do alternating lateral lunges. So legs nice and, um, I'm sorry, that was lateral squat. Legs together, you're going to drop in, pull it up. So we're doing five approximately each way if you go nice and slow. If you're going fast, it's going to be more. 30 seconds. So slow, push that butt. And come on back. Actually, it's going to work out to be more. So probably three more. Ooh. One more each side I think we've got time for. And then we've got two moves that really get your heart rate up. Hands are going to be up. You're going to drive that knee to the elbow, keeping your back nice and straight. Alternate, knee to elbow. Whew. Keep it up. About five more seconds. And rest. Last is marching, and you're going to start in a march, and if you can do the skip, stationary skips, great. If not, and marching is where you go, that's good too. Last 30 seconds. Drive those knees up. Keep going, 10 more seconds. And rest. Nice. Make sure you get your water close. Count down. Four, five moves. Now I'm getting mixed up with our old countdowns. Um, first one, I'm gonna show you the moves. Then we'll start. But first one is a lateral lunge from a single leg hop. So you want to kind of start on the side and you're going to lateral lunge, drive that knee up and hop. All on one side, then switch all on the other. Now, because the rep range is 10864, 10864, we said it's total. But if you want to do each side for that, you can. I am going to do total just because I don't want to overwhelm people, but if you want to do each side, you can. 10, 8, 6, 4, 10, 8, 6, 4. So that's the first move. Second move, pike to toe touch. If you want to add a push up, you can, but in pike, push back, reach for that toe. If you can't reach the toe, try and get the ankle or the shin. Um, make sure when you're pulling into pike, you pull through your core, bringing your belly button in so that you're not just driving in, you're really pulling in, and then your hands are always right above your shoulders. That's total two, so you'll touch for a total for the 10 of 10 times. You can add a push-up at the pike, um, at the uh, push-up position, that's great. 
Alternating tall kneel to stand. So I like to grab a weight, either in kettlebell um, goblet or in dumbbell goblet. But you're gonna be here, you're gonna drive one knee up, push through the floor, stand, same knee goes down, and then back. You're gonna do all on this side, and then the other. Now it is total for this as well, so that would be five on the right and then five on the left. This one gets really tough. I encourage you to use weight if you can. Um, last is rotation, or fourth is rotational planks. So you're gonna have your hands like this, down in plank. You're gonna drive that elbow, rotating everything, open up, and that is for each, each side. We're gonna do each side for rotational planks. And then last is elevated burpees. So I'm doing them elevated and I, a nice hop, hands down, back, and then hop, come nice and soft, and then go back. And that is for the rep range as well. So remember, 10, 8, 6, 4, 10, 8, 6, 4. Have your water ready. We're gonna start with those lateral lunges. So if the lunge, the hop is too much, you can always just do the knee drive. But we're gonna go lateral lunge, hop. I'm gonna do five on each side. But if you wanna do a total of 10, you certainly can. And then I'm going over. If you wanted to use weights, you could hold a weight in a goblet right here. Next is the pike to toe touch. We're doing five each side, because it's a total of 10. Pull that belly button in. Don't just do this without control. I guess in every one of these, because our rep range kind of is low, you could do each side instead of total. Here we go with the tall kneel to stand. Really keeping those elbows nice and tight. Drive that knee in front of you. Push through the floor to stand up. Try not to rock that knee out. Try to push right through and up. I'm doing five each side. When you have weight, that really makes a difference. And if you can't stand, then just do the tall kneel to half kneel, holding this, really working on that position so you're not wibbly and you're not all the way out here, really trying to control that move. Right, one more. And then rotational planks. Rotational planks, hold that belly button into that rib cage. Do not release that core. You're driving each side.
Go at your pace too. So right now I need to get my heart rate down to 68%. So I'm gonna work on my heart muscle. Breathing in. Really focus on that breath. And once you're down, we're gonna start again with those single legs. Since we're on eight, I've got four each side. If you choose to do eight each side, go to town. Ready to rock? A little hop. And if that hops too much, just do a knee drive. Switch it over. Go to pipe to toe touch. And remember, if you want to add a push up in that, add a push up every time you come back into push up position. And this is total of eight, so it's four each side. Grabbing your weight. For your tall kneel to stand. Control those shoulders. Don't have them way up here, nice and shrugged. I mean, not nice and shrugged. Push them down. <laughs> You're doing, I'm doing four on each side. Holding that core. Don't let that back arch as you're pushing up. Lean a little bit over that front leg, but not too much. You want to push up and through. Nice. Rotational planks. Eight each side. Keeping those elbows at opposing wall. Rotate, drive that elbow. Keep that core nice and tucked. And uh, on to burpees. On to burpees. And you at home, if this elevation isn't high enough, you can always use a higher, like a couch or a chair. But I want you to get full extension, jump up, land nice and soft in those knees. And if that extension's hard, hold, step, step, back, back, up. I'm on round three, which is six. Gotta get that breath back. Surprising how hard those burpees get. <laughs> Whew. It's another reason we're doing them elevated, because you're tired. We really want good form. So many people drop their back in a burpee because the core is tired and they can't hold it. All right. I got two more breaths. And I'm getting ready for three each side. This is six. All right. Really push that butt down. You are getting a full lateral lunge. Pike to toe touch. And with pike to toe touch, if you need to be elevated, you at home too, you can put your hands on here and push and come back. Push onto a couch, 
or a chair, but the same thing applies to you. Hands under the shoulders. As you push back, reach, come back, pull your core in, and then reach, pull your core in. All right? I should probably do two more. All right. Alternating tall kneel. I mean, tall kneel to stand. Either tall kneel to stand or tall kneel to half kneel. You can push through and stand up, great. And if you don't have weight and you wanted to use something, you could use a couch or something to push through. That's also good. But I'm doing three each side. And when you're done with those, going into rotational planks. Six each side. All right, hold that core, drive that elbow. Back into burpees. All right. Woo. Rest. We get down to the lower numbers. If you also want to do each side with that instead of total, you can. We're going down for a reason because we're going to go back to 10, 8, 6, 4. So don't feel like you have to. But if you don't feel like this is challenging, go ahead and do each side. But it's challenging for me, so I'm good. <laughs> where we are. I'm going to take a couple more deep breaths. And then we've got four. So it's two each side. You guys look good. I can see you. Love it. All right. Two each side. Let's go. Moving over. Pike to toe touch. Four total to each side. Wide a little bit, little wide stance. Bring that belly button in. Down to tall kneel to stand. The other thing when you're going lighter reps, you're in that burpee faster. <laughs> so you're just excelling your heart rate. There's no rest. We're doing rotational planks next. That's four each side. And then four burpees, and then we get to rest. Hold that core, even when you're elevated. Woo! And we gotta do all that again. <laughs> so we're going 10, 8, 6, 4, one more time. I don't know why I'm so tired after only four. You wouldn't think I would be. I think it's my brain knowing we got to do 10 again. <laughs> oh, a couple more deep breaths. 
I'm also in this basement and it's very muggy down here. All right. I can't wait to do something with a window. <laughs> All right, we're doing five each side, 10 total. Starting with this lateral lunge, single leg hop. Five each side, or if you want to go 10, go ahead. Pike to toe touch. Nice, hands right under the shoulders, really push. Drive your heels down, pull your core back. Make it harder, add a little push up each time you come back. Woo! Alternating tall kneel to stand. Holding that weight right in front, drive those elbows down. Push. Five each side. Feel those in my hips. <laughs> nice. Really push yourself through the floor. Like, whoa, <laughs> control. Try not to lose it like I just did. Rotational planks, 10 each side. Hold that core nice and tight. Drive that elbow. round done. Just have eight, six, and four. Catching that breath. Having that water. Woo. All right. I just love when we finish that large number on the second round. It makes everything easier. Whew. Take some breaths, get that breath back. Remember, you don't have to stay with me if you are needing more time or needing less time. I'm trying to quickly get my breath down. So I'm not standing too long, controlling that breath. I'm gonna do one more deep breath. And there it goes. All right, we're on eight, which is four each side. Other way. We got pike to toe touch. So if you wanted to do it with a push up, but you need the elevation, then do elevation for all of it and add that push up. So 
So I could do that with this. Four, push up. Big difference. Woo! Alternating tall nail to stand for each side. If you need a pillow or anything under your knees, go ahead and get it. You can put it under one knee while the other knee is driving forward. For each side. And then we've got rotational planks. Eight each side. There's a lot of core work in this. Burpees. Eight burpees. Woo! Nicely done, you guys. Two more rounds. challenging myself especially in the lower rounds to add things that I think I can do try it maybe adding weight where you're not maybe going total sometimes in each side sometimes play around with this make this your workout We have six and four left. I'm still breathing heavy. Whew. Yeah, good job. You guys look good. And you don't have to stay with me. I'm glad you're not. Glad you're going at your own pace. But if you're along with me for the ride, we're going to six. So I'm doing three each side. Switch it over. Pike to toe touch. I'm going to try this a little bit elevated. Pull my push up in. We got alternating tall kneel to stand, three each side. Oh shoot, am I doing six again? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> nice. At the gym, we put our reps down on a board or on a piece of paper, and I encourage you to do that too, because sometimes you do forget what round are you on? What round did you just do? <laughs> so it helps keep you focused properly. We're on six, we're doing six each side of rotational planks. Six burpees. Woo. Woo. One more round. 
One more. And it's the easiest. But don't cheat that rest. Make sure you get back into blue, back into breathing easy. I apologize if you can hear my dogs. Excited to be done. Pike to toe touch. Do not cheat that form. Woo! Tall kneel to half kneel or tall kneel to stand to each side. Rotational planks. Hold that core and I know your core is tired. Don't let that lower back take over. Four each side. I think I said two, I didn't mean that. Four each side. Four burpees and you are done. Or at least I am. <laughs> Not bad. 35 minutes work. I did get over 100 reps, which is always my goal. I'm unmuting you. How you doing? Dying. It was tough. Hot in here. Oh yeah, me too. See? 